Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we are gonna do a comparison of the major streaming services, those services that might replace your traditional cable or satellite things like YouTube TV versus Hulu Plus Live TV versus AT&T TV Now versus Sling versus Fubo and some others as well. But first, I'm gonna ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So the idea of cutting the cord has been around for a few years now, but the landscape is constantly changing in terms of who the players are, what channels they are offering, what the pricing is, it keeps going up. And so every six months or go, we try six months or so, we try to update this video and let you see what is happening in the market. However, the shelf life for this video sometimes is very short. So make sure you check the pricing, you check the channels, anything else out there. This is a good overview to sort of get you started. But if there are some specific details that really matter to you, make sure that you check to see if things are still as I am telling you they are. Now, the nice thing about all of these services is that there's no contract, there's no commitment. You don't really need a whole lot of extra equipment. You need an internet connection and maybe something like a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick or a uh, smart TV that has some of this stuff built in, but you don't have to have your house all wired up in order to get them, and you can easily switch out of them if you don't like them and try a different one. So in terms of what we are looking at here, like I said, we're sort of looking at what might be a replacement for traditional cable or satellite, and that could include or will include services that have your local channels and sort of those traditional cable channels, but some services that assume that you have an antenna to get your local channels and then what you are paying for is just those sort of traditional cable channels and the difference between those will be reflected in the price you pay. So in my mind, there are five services that you might look at if you are trying to sort of replace traditional cable or satellite, those being YouTube TV, Hulu Plus Live TV, AT&T TV Now, Fubo TV, or Sling. In this video, we are not looking at sort of add-ons like Netflix or Disney Plus or any of the others like that that give you some great added content, but they aren't really replacing what you think of as your traditional cable channel. So those are the five we're going to look at and we'll talk about some others as well. All right, let's start with YouTube TV. As I make this video, $64.99 per month, let's call it 65. YouTube TV is going to give you most of what you would expect from your sort of traditional cable or satellite package. You're going to get your local channels. You then are going to get cable-ish channels like Disney, ESPN, CNN, Fox News, all those sorts of things. NFL Network, NBA, and MLB networks are part of the package. PBS is part of the package, and it is not part of the other streaming packages. So if that is important to you, that is good to know. Now, despite having many, many channels, there are some that are going to be left out here. As I make this video, there's no History Channel. There's no Lifetime Channel with YouTube TV. And that brings up an important point. Even though all of these services are going to have many channels that they are offering, if you have a deal breaker channel or multiple deal breakers, channels that you absolutely have to have, don't just assume that they are with any of these services because even though they might say we have 65, 85, 105 channels, sometimes certain ones are going to be left out and they oftentimes are the desirable ones that are deal breakers for people. So make sure you check those channel lineups before you sign up so that you know if the channel that you absolutely have to have is included. And that actually brings up another point because as I make this video, many of the regional sports networks that are very popular with people that like to watch their local sports teams are off these major streaming services because Sinclair Group that owns a lot of these regional networks and YouTube TV as well as some of the others have not been able to come to agreement on contracts to carry those. So they used to be on. Right now as I make this video, they are not on. Perhaps they will come back on soon. But if you like to watch your local sports team and you're getting them through something like, you know, a Fox Sports Ohio, for example, or one of the many other Fox Sports or things of that nature that is owned by Sinclair, they might not be on there. So again, check those channel lineups. If that's a deal breaker for you, they might not be included right now. All right, back to YouTube TV specific. If you are someone that likes to record shows or you have multiple people in your house, you'll want to know this information. First, unlimited DVR. You can record as much as you want and the things that you record will stick around for nine months so you have a good long time to watch them. You can have three simultaneous streams, meaning three different people in your home can be watching three different things in three different places. Six 
user accounts or sort of sub accounts is the way I think of them. You can have up to with YouTube TV, which means each person can set up their own account and it will sort of track their history in order to give them recommendations or if they're watching a TV series, they can pick up where they left off so everybody can have sort of their own customized uh, situation underneath YouTube TV. Now, in terms of original programming, YouTube TV used to have it, a la Netflix or Hulu, that sort of thing but they really don't do that anymore. So there may be some freebies here and there on YouTube TV in terms of uh, you know on-demand stuff, but you're not getting any original series like you would with some other services out there. So if that's interesting to you, you're not getting that here. For a lot of people, that's not gonna matter. All right, next up, Hulu Plus Live TV. As I make this video, same $64.99 per month price as YouTube TV. A lot of similarities between the two, but some differences as well. So you're gonna get your local channels. You're gonna get a lot of those traditional cable-ish channels, Disney, ESPN, CNN, et cetera, et cetera. Some differences, you are gonna get the History Channel here. You are gonna get Lifetime here, and I'm sure there are some others as well that you'll want to take a look at. Now, you're not gonna get PBS. You're not gonna get the NFL Network or NBA or MLB with Hulu Plus Live TV. So if those are important to you, that is a difference. Now, another thing as I make this video to mention is that Hulu Plus Live TV also does not have those regional sports uh, channels. So if you'd like to watch your local sports team on one of those Fox Sports or Sports Channel kind of things that that Sinclair Broadcast Group owns, they're not on there as I make this video. Now, one of the things Hulu Plus Live TV does have is Hulu. So you have some original programming that comes from Hulu as well as that sort of backlog of TV series and movies that you can watch. And Hulu has had some hits in the original programming space, The Handmaid's Tale, Little Fires Everywhere, and some others as well. So if it's attractive to you to have Hulu and have some access to those original series that maybe will be desirable in the future or to watch those ones that have already been made, well, so then that is part of the equation too. Hulu Plus Live TV offers 50 hours of DVR recording. The things that you record will stick around for 90 days, so you've got about three months to watch them. You can have two simultaneous streams going. You can have up to six user accounts where each person can have their history track, pick up where they left off, get recommendations, all that kind of stuff. Now, one of the complaints that some people have with Hulu Plus Live TV, and this is not super easy to, to describe, but I'm going to do my best, is that Hulu Plus Live TV restricts you to some extent to what it calls a home network. So wherever you set up Hulu Plus Live TV, that is where it wants you watching TV, at least in terms of on your sort of normal TV, your non-mobile devices. So this means if you are somebody that has perhaps a second home, you go away for the winter, that kind of thing, you are not going to be able to take that Hulu Plus Live TV account and use it at that second home on your regular TV. If you want sort of the traditional Hulu Plus Live TV experience on your big screen TV or whatever in a second location, you're gonna have to have a second account. So make sure you understand how all that works and if that matters to you. Next up, AT&T TV. Now we had to redo this whole section because they changed the service on the day we are making the video. So that is how quickly things can change. Basically, AT&T sort of merged two different services into one and changed the pricing as well. So for purposes of this video, we're going to look at their three packages. Potentially, we're going to look at the two less expensive of them to try and compare them with the other things that we have talked about. So there is the entertainment package and then there is the choice package. Entertainment package is $69.99 as I make this video and this includes your local channels. It includes most of what you think of as those cable -ish channels, ESPN, Disney, CNN, Fox News, Discovery Channel, Hallmark, all that kind of stuff included in there. Now, one thing that's not included is those regional sports networks again. So if that's important to you, that is not, not part of the entertainment package. However, the choice package, which is a big bump up in cost at $84.99 per month, does include those regional sports networks. So you could find your local team on this particular streaming service, but you're going to have to pay more to get it. Now you'll also get things like NBA TV, Nick Jr. and some other channels with that choice package, but you're going to pay quite a bit more. And so, you know, we're really getting into what we think of as our 
cable-ish prices here once we get up into the 80s. AT&T TV giving you 20 hours of DVR recording. The things you record will stick around for 90 days, so you've got about three months to watch them. You can be watching on up to three different devices at the same time, so three simultaneous streams. In terms of user profiles, the different sort of sub-accounts for different uh, members of your family, not sure if those are included here. I don't believe they used to have them, but since things have changed, perhaps this is something that has been added, just don't know right now. In terms of original programming, that is not something offered with AT&T TV. As I make this video, if you went for that choice package, which is the $85 per month, HBO is thrown in for free for the first year, but then you would start getting charged for it after the first year. Again, to make sure you look at the details to see if that is what is being offered when you actually go to make your purchase. Next up is Sling, and Sling is a different animal than the others we've talked about so far because it assumes that you are getting your local channels somewhere else, and it is offering you just those sort of extra cable-ish channels that you might want. So it is assuming that you are either using an antenna or some other service to get your local uh, you know CBS ABC NBC kind of channels so what they are doing is giving you a lower price but they're not giving you those local channels so it depends on if you can you know pull those in another way or not as to whether sling is going to be attractive to you now the way sling structures their offering is sort of weird and sort of evil genius as far as I'm concerned. So they have a blue package and they have an orange package, but it's not like one of them is the bare bones package and one of them is the more expensive package that gives you even more. Instead, what they do is they have a blue package that you could pay 30 bucks a month for. They have an orange package that you could pay 30 bucks a month for, but they sort of split what you would think of as the desirable cable channels into one or the other so that for an awful lot of people, they're probably going to want both of them and so they're going to pay more to get both instead of buying just the blue or just the orange. So you could pay 30 bucks for the orange, you could pay 30 bucks for the blue or you could buy them both and that would cost you $45 per month. Again, you're not getting your local channel so you're getting a cheaper price regardless of what you're doing there. But the there is some commonality between the blue and the orange. You know CNN is in both of them but then you look in the blue there are some things that aren't in the orange and vice versa. So blue has things like NFL Network and and Fox News and on the orange end it has things like ESPN and uh, Disney and some other things that aren't in the blue so for a lot of people you're gonna end up buying both of them but if there's only just one or two channels you want and they happen to be in the blue or orange perhaps you could get away with as little as $30 per month sling offers 10 hours of DVR recording time I'm not sure about the expiration on those things that you record. In terms of simultaneous streams, here's another place where Sling's a little bit of an evil genius. If you have the blue package, three simultaneous streams. If you have the orange package, only one simultaneous stream. So it's another way that they sort of cut things up in a way to try to push you into getting both of those packages at the same time. So again, blue and orange sound nice to pay only 30 bucks, but so many people probably get pushed into that $45 per month. You do not have multiple user sub accounts with Sling, at least not as far as I know, unless that has changed in the recent past and you don't have any kind of original programming with Sling. Either. Next up, Fubo TV. And in past comparisons, I've thought of Fubo as sort of a lesser competitor to the others. Now I've elevated them as sort of one of the majors because I think they've upgraded what they're offering and they can kind of, you know, stand toe to toe with the others. Now Fubo has multiple packages at multiple price points. We're going to go with the sort of base package, which is $64.99 per month. Same as YouTube TV, same as Hulu Plus Live TV, at least as I'm making this video. You're going to get your local channels and you're going to get maybe the most complete package of those other cable-ish satellite channels that you could want. Your Disney, ESPN, NFL Network, History Channel, Hallmark Channel, all that stuff. What is conspicuously absent here, however, is CNN. So if you're someone that likes CNN or expects CNN as part of that sort of cable-ish package, it is not here. If you couldn't care less about CNN, well then the rest of what you're getting might be the most complete lineup of other channels out there. You also are not going to be getting those regional sports networks with Fubo TV either. So they have not paid whatever it is that Sinclair Broadcast Group wants in order to carry those. So again, if you are someone that likes your local sports and you get it 
or you have gotten it in the past from one of those, you know, Fox Sports, whatever, or uh, other ones owned by them, well, then that is absent here as well. In terms of recording and having multiple users, you get 30 hours of DVR recording time with Fubo TV, no expiration on those, so it'll sit there as long as you want to, but only 30 hours worth. Two simultaneous streams you can have, so two devices playing in two different places, two different things via your Fubo account. I'm not sure on the sort of sub accounts that you can have. I don't think that Fubo has them in terms of, you know, one person having sort of their own history and all that kind of stuff versus another person in the same household. If you happen to be a Fubo subscriber and you know differently, please let me know in the comments section below. You do not have original programming that comes with Fubo, although I will say here that one of the the sort of selling points for some people with Fubo is that especially on the packages that you're willing to pay a little bit more money for, there are a lot of extra sports channels. And in particular, I believe soccer is a thing that you can see a lot of. So if you are very into um, you know, soccer leagues outside of the United States, this may be a good place to watch that, but no original programming in the you know vein of Hulu or Netflix or that sort of thing. All right, let's look at a few other services out there. I don't consider these to be at the same level as the ones that I just talked about, but they are interesting to some people. The first one of those is Philo. Philo is only $20 per month. It is sort of a sling competitor in that it does not offer your local channels, but it does give you a package of sort of those cable-ish channels Discovery, History Channel, a bunch of other ones like that, but at the same time, no ESPN, no Disney, no CNN, so a lot of things missing from that as well. So if there are you know, one or two channels that you want that Philo has and you've got your locals taken care of, well then maybe that is a service that makes sense for you. For a lot of people, there's not gonna be enough there. The next service is Vidgo, and honestly, I put it in this video almost as a placeholder because I've talked about Vidgo in the past as a potential alternative to some of these other ones, but right now I'm very confused about what they are doing. There's not much information on their website. They have increased their prices to $55 and have sort of a weird mishmash of channels that they are offering, so I would not recommend them unless you have some sort of prior uh, you know, experience with them and you like what they are offering, but maybe they are sort of in the process of changing and trying to get themselves to the same level as some of these others. So for now, Vidgo can't say anything particularly good about it, but maybe next time we do this video, we'll have something different to say. So that's it for the paid services that are sort of a replacement for traditional cable and satellite. A couple of things that I want to mention that are free services that I know some people really enjoy. And maybe if you're getting your local channels, this would be a way for you to get some other programming that is free. And so you don't have to go into how much you're paying per month. One of those is Pluto TV, which is sort of a mishmash of channels and on-demand content. A lot of it is older programs and there are movies on there and a lot of different stuff. So that is a way to supplement, you know, free channels if you're getting them via antenna. Roku, which is the equipment that you use to get some of these other services or the equipment that you can use, also has its own free channel, the Roku channel, that is somewhat similar to what Pluto TV does with a lot of older programs and some free movies and that kind of stuff. So again, if you want to supplement free channels that you might be getting via an antenna, those are two to look at. All right, so that is pretty much it. Now, last time I made this video, someone left the comment, how can you compare all these streaming services and not tell us, the viewers, which one is the best? And hopefully it is somewhat apparent why I don't name one of them as the best service, and that is because what is important to you is not necessarily what's important to the next person, and there are a lot of different aspects to these services. Some people are very price conscious, so the price matters a lot to them. Some people have certain channels they absolutely have to have. Some people just kind of want a number of different choices. Some people really care about the DVR. They do a lot of recording. Some people will never even touch that DVR. Some people want simultaneous streams. They have multiple people in their household. Some people live alone, couldn't care less about simultaneous streams. Some people really might like those originals from Hulu, and so that might be a tipping point. So there are a lot of different things that all kind of go into the stew of making your decision as to which one of these is the best for you. Again, the good thing is, you can try them out, and if you don't like them, you can just move on to the next one. Very easy to cancel and move on, unlike cable, unlike satellite. So that is it. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and as always, please go to proudmoney.com, where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff, too. Thanks for watching. Bye.